Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. We just arrived here in Pennsylvania for Boxerfest 2023. And it's still super early, but there is a hell of a lot of cars here. So it's pretty cool to see. But we got Panzer unloaded out of the trailer. And uh, yeah, we're about to get in line for loading. Hello. Hello. Look at all these Subarus. Look at the Hyper I know, I saw a few Hyper Blues come in. All right, we just went ahead, got all registered. Typically at the shows, I'll record a little bit of the cars here, ones that are super sick. I did see a sick freaking uh, Porsche out there that's kind of one of my dream cars. So definitely want to check that out. And yeah, really just talk to people. It's what's most important here at the shows. So uh, if I don't get a lot of footage, I'm sorry. But yeah, just like to uh, talk to people, talk about their builds and learn a little bit. So you ready? Fucking ready, boy. <laughs> We're gonna go walk around and see what we find. So cool. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready for the so you said you were ready for the interview. A lot of cars here. <laughs> First guy we've seen wearing a Panzer shirt. I kind of told Seth earlier, we're gonna hit him with the entire drop of all the new turning asphalt to adrenaline stuff. So whatever I have, as long as I got his size, he's gonna get it. So we got some stickers, jet tags. We got two different tees. We got everything back here, so. <laughs> what size shirt do you wear, man? 2X. 2X? Yeah. We got a black tee, we got a red tee, we got a jet tag, one sticker, two sticker. I told you at least one person would be wearing one. Let's go. Is that the first person that wears one of the shirts trying to get the whole thing off? So. Oh, dude, seriously? That's for you, man. Oh, dude, no way. Serious? Yeah. All for you, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Appreciate you. Yeah, That's awesome. thank you. Nice to meet you. Appreciate you, you too. Want to get a photo? Yeah, for sure. Of course. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah, Appreciate man. it. Nice meeting you. Appreciate Welcome back to the channel. We're back here at Boxer Fest. We're watching the drift demo. We got some Water delicious. <laughs> oh, did I say drift demo? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. We're watching the autocross demo. We got some delicious chicken nuggies. There's the. There's the star of the show right there eating his chicken nuggies. Got some really nice cars going. Lots of blue Subarus. You ready for your interview? Yeah. <laughs> what are your questions? Are you, are you the most famous person here today? Yeah. No, I think it's this guy. What's up? That's about all the content I got from Boxerfest. Really spent the whole time just talking to you guys, meeting everyone and making the most of it. But we're back home now and I have a few updates for you guys. So you can see right here, we got two different things. Let's start here. So besides the Twizzlers and the Skittles that they include in the packaging, these are some door pull straps 
for the STI. These are made by DID Upholstery, and I actually won these at Boxerfest in a raffle. So the plan was to put these in in this video because this is gonna get rid of the chrome door handles inside the car. So you essentially just pull that strap and it opens the door. And it even comes with replacement kinda, you know, the whole contraption that goes in the door. So that way that strap just mounts onto it and it's pretty much like a plug and play type deal. The problem is, if you look on the side here, it's for a VA and well, that's not a VA. So we're actually gonna send this back to DID in exchange for a GR, but we're gonna do a little bit of fun custom Panzer stuff in the meantime. So uh, yeah, more to come on the DID pull straps. Now, moving on to this turbo. This obviously doesn't really look much like a Subaru turbo. That's because it's not. This is an FP Black for the Evo. I was just gonna get a stock turbo, slap it in there because the old one is smoked, but this came up on Marketplace and I couldn't resist. So we got an FP Black now for this car. And I know I haven't filmed a whole lot about this car yet other than when we got it. This was a blown up abandoned Evo that we bought from New Jersey. And a lot of you guys have asked when we're finally gonna start building this thing. And well, the time has just about come. Let's take a walk out to the storage unit, AKA my big old trailer. So this is where I've been keeping all the parts when we're not using the trailer. All these bins are just filled with Evo parts. Kind of a whole nightmare. We got axles over here. It's the old clutch. We got some, I don't know, support structure parts. We got the bumper that was on Rusty, the bumper for the Evo. And then we come over here, we finally got our engine back and it is completely ready to go. Bored out to 86 and a half for our manly pistons. And then we got our transfer case, transmission. That's the old Blausch 2.0 turbo that was on there, which is smoked. The old crankshaft that's smoked. And then we got our old rusty fenders. And then in this box, we got our cylinder head. Everything's all done, it is decked. Valve job's all done. She is ready to be placed on the block. But first, before we do that, as most of you guys know, we have to build the short block and get that thing ready. So I'm just waiting on a crank, which is ordered, rods, which are ordered, and some bearings, which are also ordered. And then we should have everything we need to get that thing built, get it in the car, and maybe we can actually freaking drive this Evo. I've been rolling it in and out of the garage for the past month and uh, I'm ready to have it running. So I'm excited. We're kind of doing the same setup in this car as we do on Panzer as far as the short block, all manly components, H tough rods, you know, same, pretty much same pistons, uh, stock OEM crank, ACL bearings, and yeah, pretty much do the same thing. I've had really good luck with Panzer, obviously. So, uh, I don't know why I'd really change it up at the moment. So we're gonna do FP Black setup, which is stock location. I don't have a kit to support like a precision turbo or anything yet, maybe sometime in the future. But for now, that FP Black should be good for like mid sixes on the horsepower range. So I'm plenty happy with that. I don't plan on turning this car up anywhere near as much as Panzer. I do want to daily this for a little while. So if we can keep it a little on the fuel efficient side, that, uh, that'd be favorable. So Panzer, if you guys don't know, that thing does not get good fuel mileage. Uh, yeah, I feel like every pull is damn near a quarter tank. So not ideal for dailying, but that's pretty much all the updates I have. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering when I'm gonna start this Evo or if I've given up on it. I'm not gonna lie, the longer it sits in here, the more demotivated I get to work on it. But with everything starting to show up and finally got the engine back, I'm so stoked. I'm ready to get this thing together, figure it out. We're gonna do this together and yeah, I'm excited. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was so good to meet you guys at Boxer Fest. We're gonna be heading out to Gatlinburg at the end of September. So if you didn't catch us at Boxer Fest, try to make it out to Gatlinburg. It'd be super sick to meet you guys. But yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna do it. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace out. See y'all later.